Good morning to another off topic here at Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. Um, we mentioned in our last off topic video, which was the video, if you haven't seen it yet, I'll post it right up there. It was a video talking about maximum load for your boat and, and how to get the, the best speed and fuel economy out of it based upon how you put your tackle and your gear in your boat. And in that video, I talked a little bit about the Zavala food pantry. I talked about food pantries in general. And uh, what I did not know that I subsequently learned about it was that um, it, specifically in Zavala, most of the food historically, or a lot of the food historically, has come from churches, local churches. People bring food to church. Problem is, not a lot, the churches are closed right now. Most of them, I think, are. And so, uh, you've got more people in need and uh, less churches open, and so they're hurting. And guys, I got to tell you, I I thought you know some guys that throw ten or twenty guys and girls both would throw you know ten, twenty, thirty bucks at us. Uh, we raised nine hundred and seventy-five dollars, and that just boggles my mind. And uh, we're about to go over this Tuesday morning and make that delivery to the food shelter and uh, excuse me to the food pantry. And I want to show you guys what we're taking them. So, interestingly, um, they get a lot of uh, they get a lot of produce and they get a lot of meat uh, locally. But what they don't have is the same thing everybody else is short of, which is uh, paper products, paper towels, and toilet paper specifically, toiletries. The only thing we weren't able to get, we just ran out of money to some degree was uh, they, he wanted some shampoo. And uh, so they're f serving to 150 to 170 cent families. Uh, the cheapest shampoo we found was about two bucks. So we were a couple hundred dollars short of making that go. We had $50 left over, which we're gonna donate this morning in the form of a check to them. And uh, we'll, we'll probably try to, if we can come up with a couple hundred more, couple hundred more dollars, we'll get that shampoo to them soon. Uh, they also needed snacks for kids. Uh, and I did not even know this was a thing, but there is milk made that doesn't have to be refrigerated. And, and you can think through why these folks might need stuff that didn't go in a refrigerator, which is um, saddens me uh, right now in, in the United States of America that folks don't have refrigerators. But uh, we were able to buy a bunch of that you're gonna see and uh, a bunch of snacks for the kids and uh, we're going to take them to the food pantry this morning and i just wanted to show you guys what you guys help us do what you guys did we just we just facilitated it and put a hundred dollars of our own money into it but uh check this out guys let me let me first show you what we're taking over there. this is the back of my truck uh sorry for the road noise you see we got snacks we got lots and lots of bar soap that was something they said they needed we have toilet paper. We have. Uh, we tried to buy healthy snacks or as healthy as we could. Uh, a lot of this came from Sam's, uh, which, by the way, charged us retail, and Walmart, which, by the way, charged us retail. Uh, we bought those bags because one of the other things that those Ziploc bags is one of the other things they said they needed was that they needed um, detergent, and we thought the best way to buy the detergent, Sarah's idea, was to buy the pods. So you saw the back of a uh, big black truck, also known as Johnny Cash. This is Sarah's truck. Did you see it's completely full? Uh, and again, I, I I didn't know this was a thing. There's uh, but that milk right there comes in little eight ounce servings. Comes in little eight ounce servings, which is perfect for kids, and it doesn't have to be refrigerated. So. Uh, we bought a bunch, of, but we didn't buy a bunch. We bought some of that. I'd love to have bought more. This is a thing that once we started it, you realize that uh, this happens to them every week. They feed every week and uh, they're short every week to some degree. But uh, we did a little bit this week and maybe we'll do a little bit again in the future. So uh, let's go to the food pantry. All right, it is. So these are the folks who volunteer their time at the food pantry. That's JP who runs it. Oh, that car's full too. Oh, that's yeah, no. Full? All right. We had uh, we had people donate nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. JP, we had that much left over. Okay. All right. You got your you got your address. Uh, yeah. So those are the boxes they've set up to give to everybody. That's pretty dang cool. You can see there's a whole bunch of them. 
Good morning. You got to twist this deal right here. Uh, first thing I'd like to mention today. Uh, so this is a. Uh, this has changed for me over the last six to nine months. I've shown you guys this before. Uh, I use a hook for practice and I use a hook for tournaments. Just like you guys, I pay for my stuff. And these little hooks, they're made by uh, Bite Me. Let's see if I can get that up where you can read it. And it's a, a super thin little wire hook. That's it right there. Now I use mostly now the hunter hook. Let me see if the, well that's one right there I just pulled out of there. So the hunter hook has, and I do it because I like the style of the head. The head itself has a real good keeper on it. But what you can do is just take a pair of pliers and that will just, that little weed guard will literally just pop out. That's my practice hook. Why is that my practice hook? Because it's such a thin little wire hook I can, I, so I throw my, I've talked about this, I throw my A-Rig on 20 pound Seaguar Tatatsu line. It's expensive line, it's the best line they make. I think it's probably some of the best fluorocarbon there is on the marketplace. And as long as I get a good straight pull with a little bit of line out, you know, if you got this much line out, you're stressing that line a little bit more. But with just a little bit of line out, I can get a straight pull and straighten those hooks and get that $20 A-Rig and my $4 worth of swim baits and my dollars worth of hooks back 95% of the time. I hardly ever lose an A-Rig. Now, of course, I get over the top and jiggle them at first, but sometimes they're just hung up that you just got to pull on them. Now, what I, so if you remember last year, I broke a couple of fish off where I broke the hooks, and then I bent some hooks out. So I have now gone, and I don't have any with me. I've actually run out of them, but right there, I'll put a picture up. I have gone and started using the six cent swim bait hook. It's a beefier hook and he makes them in a lot of different sizes. That's the hook I'm using for my A-Rig on tournament day. So I've got some on order right now. I want to get them and I'll show them to you. So uh, Shane's bait A-Rig, I, I am still, and I've talked about this as well. I am a believer in multiple baits and multiple actions. So there's five swimmers on each one of my A-Rigs and it is almost always two swimming flukes uh, or three swimming flukes and two uh, uh, divine swim baits or three divine swim baits, whichever, from Six Cents. I will also mix in on occasion that bigger Bass Pro Shop swim bait with all the ribs on it for my center bite. I just keep mixing them up because I will see days where they'll eat one and they won't eat the other. There's a lot of days they eat both of them equally, but that Six Cents bait has a tighter wobble than that fluke does or than that Bass Pro Shop bait does. So I want to see, I mean to me the 6 cents bait is probably a little more of a blueback herring type of a swim act, swimming action. But I'm telling you there's days they'll they'll zoom in on that, zoom in on that. They'll, they'll, they'll focus on that wider wobble and there's days they'll focus on that smaller wobble and there's days they don't seem to care. So I like giving them both options and that's what I'm going to continue to do. There was a time where if I caught three or four in a row on one of them, I'd put all those same baits on there. I've just decided that it's smarter to get, continue to give them that choice. If they've got to go that far between those baits to bite the wide wobble over the thin wobble or vice versa, I don't really care. So that's my off topic this week. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Again, thanks for everybody that supported the Zavala Food Bank in this last little drive we did. Uh, sort of kind of on you know just off the cuff deal if anybody knows where we can get some toothbrushes or, or or you know what shampoo even anybody out there owns a hotel chain and got a bunch of shampoo they're not using we'd love to get a hold of that too and we'll get it over here to the folks at the Zavala food food bank so thanks for tuning in I got more fishing coming up for y'all uh, in the next couple of days thanks guys I'm not saying that's calling your shot, but.
Big fish, big fish, Mike. 